Carro. Hello my Capricorn friends, Guiding Halo here, hope all's going well. Let's see what's coming in for you guys, money, finance, and career, or whatever the divine has to tell you, for the 28th to the 4th of September. What energies are you dealing with? What are you going to be dealing with this week? What's coming towards you? If love comes out in your finance reading, it's because love is either blocking your ability to make money or what's what someone you love thinks is blocking your ability to focus on money. It could be that your love life is siphoning money from you. It could be that your love life is wrecking your financial future. Take it as it resonates, but it will show up if it's meant to. Nine of Pentacles, enjoying life's little luxuries, spending quiet time alone, successful self-employment. So I feel like you're reaching the end of a phase or a circumstance in your life. Perhaps not wanting to do self-employment anymore or not wanting to do relationship anymore. Open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy, heartfelt advice. Charity work. So there's advice coming in. Trustworthy, compassionate, respected, and cultured. This could be somebody who is finding themselves single. Maybe you're single, maybe you're self-employed. Coming into contact with somebody who is trustworthy and helping lead you towards your next cycle. Lead you toward the next thing. Is somebody who's respected and somebody that you can trust. And I have the Ace of Cups, a brand new life, brand new job, brand new you. Falling in love or the resurgence of a relationship, spiritual growth, enhanced intuition, a new home. This could be about a property matter, financial uh, issues or emotional issues surrounding finances based on a property, a home, a something. It could be the coming together of nine people, ten people or something so that it's like a family reunion through the month of August. You don't really have a month-long family reunion, do you? Anyways, whatever. Coming together with people that you trust and getting some information as you move forward, getting some advice. Good news. I just saw the Ace of or the uh, Page of Wands. There's a victory coming in here where self-employment is concerned and taking some time out to enjoy life and spending time in quiet meditation I feel asking the divine for clarity about what's the next path what's the next thing how do I move forward into the next thing my Capricorn friends that's what you're asking you could be dealing with a Virgo Cancer Pisces Scorpio or Virgo or Pisces we have temporary pause in action seeds well planted unnecessary worry so you're wanting to reap a harvest but you're waiting for harvest time I wonder if there's something about that. If there's a family home or a hmm, something, a family something legacy. Somebody's waiting to, maybe it's a farm and somebody's waiting to reap a harvest on some sort of situation. Yep, Freya comes in to confirm. You coming up, Frey Frey? Oh, look at you. The first reading she's actually came up in. So there's going to be some massive energies I feel like y'all are dealing with. Yeah, that's right. You tell them how it is. Should we pick this card now? Are you in mommy's way? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Celebration. Having fun. Getting out and being in joy. Creating moments that you'll remember for a very long time moving forward. Freya, do you want to come lay down here, sweet pea? Come on. Come on. No? Okay. Just uh, you're good there? All right. So, we have the King of Cups. Uh, trustworthy, compassionate, respected, cultured. What is this about? You could be dealing with a water sign in some aspect or some respect. A decision needs to be made. There's a crossroads here. This person's in their house trying to decide what they're most passionate about and how to move forward. I feel as though there's kindred partnership here. I feel as though there's family relations here. There very well could be a new home, new job, new life, new you coming in. And it could be a water sign that in some way, shape or form is going to give you some advice that leads you straight towards being able to make a decision. 
I want to say that I feel as though even in making that decision, when you do, there is going to be some stress around it because you're not sure you're going to make the right decision. And someone perhaps maybe is expecting you to make a decision and take a leap of faith, perhaps maybe sooner than you want to or without all the facts. And I'm telling you, that just ain't going to wash for you. It's not how Capricorns roll. Rarely, anyways. I need all the facts before I go about doing and being and giving. Yeah, need all the facts. It's going to take courage and strength, realizing, however, that there are infinite possibilities is how the divine's trying to get things moving. We have a Leo energy coming in here now, taming the inner beast of fear in order to have the strength to listen to what people have to say here, to give it credence in the first place, this offering, to give it credence and to make a decision based on it. Great sadness. Oh my goodness. So your mind is not agreeing with your heart. Your mind is not agreeing with your soul here. There's a new start. It's like your mind, lack of hope, lack of faith, lack of trust is coming in. Your mind is stabbing your heart. The swords are about your mind, your thoughts, your belief set. And when we see swords stabbing a heart, it's like someone has great sadness, but it's what your mind is telling you that is causing the pain but is it truth or is it false what what's going on here well i just saw the two of pentacles the decision needs to be made and i saw the wheel of fortune uh more going on here with an emperor boss judge ceo older family member person who has control over the purse strings or is maybe using purse strings to control your movement forward Looking at your options as to how to move. Seven, eight, nine, ten of cups. Happy family, happy wife, happy husband, happy life. There's some sort of investment someone was waiting on to have a victory around. And I feel like someone's making a decision that's going to upend that whole thing. And there's some sort of illusion based around what your options are. So there's a false sense of options here. Or someone's keeping their options open. Or what you thought was a solid basis of something, their options are being kept open. When you come into realization of this, I feel as though you're going to be somewhat feeling stabbed in the back. But it's your own mind prejudging the circumstances that's stabbing you in the heart, if that makes sense. What's crowning the reading? We have justice. A Libra, perhaps. Or justice coming into a circumstance or situation that's been just a wee bit unruly, I might add. We have... Page of Wands, creative news, a new start coming in. This could be a new job opportunity, new career opportunities, whatever it is, that bring you to some sort of new thing in general. Ace of Cups isn't always about love for me. It's about someone, the divine bringing you an opportunity that's going to take confidence to step into. I'm the angel of peace. I bring you new tranquility and a smoother road ahead is what this left-hand side is about. So that's awesome. That's beautiful. We love that energy. A smoother road ahead. So maybe there's been some question around what the trajectory head forward should be and the divine stepping in to make it smoother. But I wonder if there's going to be some conflict over it nonetheless. You're at the end of a cycle in your life. Call upon the angels to comfort you and guide you to your next step. Happiness awaits you now. And it's all just that this is happening. It's all just because the divine's... If, if you're leaving a situation because of someone else's decision, then the divine is taking you straight towards this new thing. Okay? I am with you giving the courage to make life changes that will help you work on your divine life purpose. I feel like someone's at the absolute end of a cycle and stepping into the beginning of a new one. And a lot of times that can be very uncomfortable. I'm not going to deny it. It's the absolute truth. <laughs> Been there, done that. Wrote the book. Rode the, vol rode the volcano. Ah! Oh my goodness. Are you riding a volcano? Going to see a volcano. Going on a holiday. Something to do with a volcano. Science project in a volcano. I don't know. Heck if I know. If I was going to say rode, ride the roller coaster. Bought the t-shirt. Don't want to do it again. The divine's asking you to have faith here. Believe you are not alone. Spirit is right beside you. Ask for guidance and it will come. Bottom of the deck, we have pilgrimage. You're starting a brand new, you see. You're on a journey to your own greatness. Your soul is longing to find the way. 
Only you can choose your path. And I feel like your mind is getting in the middle of your soul's way. I love you guys and blessings to you.